the first thing that uh, I wanted to bring up, this is kind of like recent. Um, and this is not very like, this is not huge. You know, this is not like crazy development in the Dragon Ball fandom because, you know, a lot of, a lot of things are, well, a lot of things we're waiting on, I should say. But here's the thing. So the fans have done it again and they've done yet another kind of, I guess you can consider this a pretty big deal in the, uh, how do you say the, the, the preservation of the quality, I guess, or the, just the general preservation of the anime of sorts, right? So Dragon Ball Z just recently got a new fan-made upscaled 1080p version. And I wanted to talk about this a little bit because this also kind of relates to another project that fans already do. And it doesn't really take too much effort. And there's a bigger there's a bigger takeaway from this that I obviously am bringing this up to y'all today. Um, why do we have to do everything? And when I say we, I don't just mean us. I'm talking about like the fans. You mean the, you mean the fans? Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. We like we, we were talking about this what last week, two weeks ago. We are the marketing team, right? <laughs> we are their fucking marketing team, right? So here we go, right? As a reminder, let me just you know get my my shit in order here. So as a reminder, going back to the anime part I just brought up. So, did you guys know, I'm sure most of y'all do, we're, we're here for Dragon Ball, right? Do you realize how many times Dragon Ball Z, especially, has been re-released as like a home, like, you know, like home product, like DVD, like VHS back in the day, Blu-rays now, like all those different box sets that are available? Do you realize how many times that has happened? I feel like to this day, they're still getting releases somehow one way or another as a matter of fact the most recent one is actually this right there is the collector's edition of the universal power that's what they call it it's the dragon ball super it's the full set right it's all blu-ray but that's not z so that's okay that's fine it doesn't matter right but dragon ball z in particular has had so many re-releases and i'm not even talking about kai i'm talking about like dbz all the all the DVDs, all the orange bricks, all of the Blu-rays, all of the other DVDs, the Dragon Box. There's a shitload now. But oh, before I say now, right? The problem is that the Dragon Box set, which is one of the earlier sets, actually, I think that shit came out before the orange bricks, if I'm not mistaken, which is the ones we got. Yeah. Right. All nine of those bitches. Okay. The Dragon Box has the best quality. Okay, the best quality out there that's official. All right. And so then you fast forward time a few years ago. I don't know if you remember this, but they released Funimation before they got, you know, eight by Crunchyroll. Right. They released a set that was they made this shit seem like it was the best set of all time. This is going to be the greatest way to Dragon Ball Z and enjoy your four. They tried to market it like, oh, yeah, four by three, the original aspect. Are you fucking playing with me right now? They tried to fucking really market that shit like, oh, yeah, here it is. Here's your aspect ratio that y'all want as long as it's four by three, right? As That's not the fucking point. The point is, is that, yes keeping it at the original aspect ratio that it was made on yeah sure of course naturally yes that's what we want but if you're gonna re-release something that's old as shit we want it upscaled to met to meet to meet <laughs> to meet and match there we go i was combining words the expectation of what the standard shit is now i mean look we got a fucking what 65 inch in, in the living room that's it oh. that's a nice 4k ass fucking tv Dude, one day, I would hope, I would love to see a 4K version of all these episodes. I mean, obviously, but here's the crazy part. The only thing Dragon Ball that's 4K, naturally, is Superhero. Oh. That's the first release ever to have a 4K done. That's it. Like, when that shit drops in December, which, Japan, 
I don't know why it's taking y'all so long to make a fucking Blu-ray, but that's whatever. Who watches <laughs> Blu-rays nowadays, though? Everybody watches Blu-rays. Who? Everybody that still buys them. Who's buying Blu-rays? People buy Blu-rays. Why? To collect. What do you mean to collect? You gonna watch that shit? Yeah. Hey, what happens when the internet don't work? Fuck you mean you could download that shit. What if you don't download it? Well, then you gotta wait. What, what, I'm not waiting. It's right there. See? But like, but by, Got him. by the time you get the by the time you get the Blu-ray, you probably not watching that shit again. Brandon, see, here's here's the here's the problem, okay? Yes, convenience is obviously a key, right? But even even if they were to digitally distribute this, it doesn't even exist, is my point. The whole factor, the whole the whole thing here is that the official folks over in Japan who have the masters, okay? They have yet to release anything upscaled since like Dragon Box. And they and 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 now it brings me to today. So Geekdom, he's been he's been posting tweets all week showing off clips of 1080p Dragon Ball Z. And boy, let me tell you, there's a yo is a big difference. If you watch what I saw on his stream, he was showing mad shit off. And it's bad. No, it's a, it's fucking amazing. Oh, okay. It's great, Te yo. 1080p Dragon Ball Z, bro. It looks crisp. It's nice and colorful. There's no grain, and it looks like the shit was made yesterday. So we don't, we don't get 1080p Dragon Ball. No, we don't get fucking 1080p Dragon Ball. Oh, we get 720. <laughs> if we're fucking lucky. 480. That's, I mean, think about it. Think kind about, think about when DBZ came out. Think about when DBZ came out. Well, yeah, when I'm talking about Super. I'm not talking about Super. I'm talking about Dragon Ball Z. Okay. That's why it says specifically right, DBZ. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, okay. Okay. Super, don't worry about it. It's right there. Blu-ray. Yeah, whatever. 1080 or more. I'm not worried about the Blu-ray part, but... See, see, my issue with that is I feel like the majority of the people that are collecting those Blu-rays are never going to break the plastic. And, I'm not criticizing and that's that crazy. I'm just making the statement saying that it doesn't matter if the whole internet can shut down and they're still not gonna. And they ain't plastic. opening that shit, unless they planning on reselling it to make bread at some point. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's the other side of it too. Like, that, but who? But not, a lot of people, when you really think about, it, probably aren't even thinking that long term about it. They're just buying it, and then maybe one day they'll open it. But they're collecting it, and they're not thinking about selling that shit. You guys, are, you guys are bringing up great points. I would low key sell shit. But I know, like I know if, you would. If I withhold, if I held it long enough, you know, and I knew it was eventually like, I don't know, gonna blow up, or just like, what they don't release them no more. Is, is that is that a problem? Is that the thing? Well, it's not even just that they don't release them no more. It's just they don't fucking do anything. Oh well, yeah. So I mean, whoever whoever was a smart nigga back then, <laughs> getting fucking all the Blu-rays and collecting them and shit, is probably making some money selling that shit. Yeah, but Brandon, that's my point, right? If you get any Blu-ray of Dragon Ball Z right now, if you go to Amazon, they're going to be there available. They're probably on a, a ridiculous of a discount because no one's buying them because they're not actually like up to par with what you would expect, okay? And so again, Geekdom revealed that this th these these episodes were done by a group of fans that uh they used what's known as a uh, google gpu like on some crazy ai technology this is off of their cloud system so this is publicly available okay all it takes is a little bit of this and a passion and you can you can fucking remaster whatever the fuck you want he even told me about they're doing this with some of my japanese power rangers Besides the point, I'm not going to bore you guys with that shit, okay? <laughs> but with Dragon Ball Z, they're they, like, and he showed, he literally showed comparison side by side. He said, he had a he had a picture to, to, to show the side by side. He goes, here's what the original looks like. Here's what this looks like. And then he just showed hella moments. Like any moment that you could imagine from Dragon Ball Z that was significant, he showed Gohan. He showed... uh. Boo, Super Saiyan 3, he showed um uh Frieza, he showed Trunks, he showed Cell. Like he he was going through all these episodes, just showing clips and shit. And dude, I was impressed. I was literally at work with his stream open, 
and I was like, I cannot believe that the that fucking fans did this. Fans. And he confirmed. He goes, and here's the thing, guys. The only way we're ever going to get a better release is if Toei gets the fucking masters and rescans them in to do whatever output resolution they want. It's only until they do it, which I don't know how in 2022, how many years of Dragon Ball? What's the fucking anniversary? 30, 35. I don't fucking even remember no more. Okay. The point is there should be no reason why that shit doesn't exist. And the fucked up part is what I originally thought was I thought that the original masters was lost. That was like a whole thing. But no, I geeked and corrected me. He said, no, 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 no. The original video masters were not lost. The audio masters were fucking lost. <laughs> How the fuck do you lose your own master tracks? Yeah, no, that, that's embarrassing, bro. I, yeah, it is. That's like high tech digital fucking secure that's just to be secure dude with, with how much of a fucking Backups. popular icon dragon ball z not not just now back then you would think that shit would be behind 10 vaults all having different codes keys all that shit and then almost like god of war fucking shit you know how they got all the crazy fucking booby all traps and shit the puzzles you gotta solve you would expect that shit to hide the originals nope they lost the audios. And that was also a part of what this whole, like, um, this fan release was made. They literally took the remixed, remastered audio and fused it, okay, with this, <laughs> with this fucking brand new 1080p Google shit. And it's clean. Like, it's actually mad clean. Like, I'm, I'm waiting for him to give it to me. I'm like, dude, you know I need this. Please. Please, like, I need this. Like, I'm telling you, if you saw these clips, and I actually, I clipped a bunch of shit from his stream, which I'll show y'all at a later time. Clean as fuck. Like, I was very impressed, and I'm just like, wow. Like, it just reminded me of, like, why the fuck do we have to do everything? Like, why? Like, the other example that I wanted to bring up that in relation to this, which is also kind of, like, more relate. Well, it's more recent and, like, I guess, uh, relevant. relevant. There you go. There it is. Thank you. Right. <laughs> um, the word. Oh, yeah. The uh, the Dragon Ball Super manga. Did you guys know that they get color versions in Japan, but we don't? Did you know that, Brandon? Well, that's part of the reason why I don't read. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not color. No. OK, makes sense, All I guess. Right. I ain't gonna fucking watch fucking gray shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We're in 2020 fucking too. Why why can't this shit have color? Well, there's actually a reason behind that. So the reason the reason why manga isn't black and white is because since Japan still prints all of their shit in on paper, uh black and white is actually like the best way to have that for the environment. So to save the fucking environment. Type yeah, like it, they they could use the cheaper paper and like that's why like the pages out of Shonen Jump is like really thin and like kind of cheap because of that reason. You know, they're, they're trying to not, they, 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 you know how Japan is like they're very, you know, they're good with, with that shit, of course. Right. You know, recycling. Yeah, right? exactly. So <clears throat> and that's a lot of paper that they go through. I mean, a Shonen Jump fucking magazine is like this thick, no exaggeration. Every time I've been over there, I've made sure I've collected whatever the weekly issue was. No exaggeration. It is this thick. Like, and it's just fucking manga from opening to close. It's crazy. Crazy. It shits on any of the weekly, the monthly, excuse me, the monthly ones that we used to get back in the day. Believe it or not, if there's anyone listening, yes, we used to get them physical too. But that was a while ago. Okay. Dating myself right now. Okay. Fucking early, mid early two thousands, holy shit! I was like in now, middle now school. Thing, Go ahead. Though, if they're if they're out here only printing colors for themselves, right? <laughs> so yeah, they, that's discrimination. So fuck, so fuck, bullshit. fuck what they fuck what you said beforehand <laughs> about saving the fucking environment, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I was printing all this goddamn paper and and y'all coloring over there. Color over here, bitch. <laughs> No, Fuck no, out of no, here, man. Listen, listen, here, Crazy. It gets this much worse, right? 
because a lot of us, especially when we read some of the newer shit, we're reading it online, right? Because that's how we that's how we access it. Correct. Yes. It's not even colored there. What? Donna. Uh, you can't just pick and choose where the color is at, bro. <laughs> oh, but they did. Fuck. Man. Dude, it was re like honestly, I'm not I'm not even kidding you. I fucking you guys know we follow all this shit like on the regular. It was this year when I found out that Japan gets exclusive. They have to make sure they fucking really rub it in, right? Japan exclusive digital color editions of Dragon Ball Super. While we reading the shit in black and white, they get the color. Nah, they, they low key racist now. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking to say it, so I'm glad someone did. Nah, bro. Dude, I don't. I, I, I truly, I truly don't understand. Like, what the fuck gives? Like, why? Like, awesome terrible, terrible business decision. Yo, and guess what? I bring that up too, right? Because guess what? I found somebody, a fan, right? took the color versions and said okay i'll take all of the viz translations and stick them right on there in the panels and it worked out now we can enjoy the color fucking versions off of this very generous of their time fan because they're tired of their fucking shit too because man fuck this that's crazy dude tell me why speaking of full color why have they not finished releasing the full colors of what they started with Dragon Ball Z? There's they stopped at Frieza. We have not gotten sell. Japan has all of Dragon Ball Z in color. All of it. Hardcover. You could go in right now. Japan Amazon. Buy that shit. All in color. We don't have it. That's fucked. I'm tired of getting hoed. That's the whole point of this fucking this this discussion right here. Okay? Mm. It's one thing they make the fucking move. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, yeah. That's fucked, dude. Like how, what? It, when it comes to the official shit, we got to do everything. When it comes to fan shit, clearly we, we're making shit that's eons better than any anyone can imagine. Shout out to the fucking Nasir. Okay, <laughs> oh, wrong button. I'm gonna give him the applause. All right, gotta give him the applause. Okay. Can't believe this shit. Speaking of which, he actually uh, he posted on his Patreon. He did a he did like a uh like a like a quick drawing of Vegeta. Looks fucking kingly. That's all. Yes. So <laughs> But yeah, that's all the fan stuff that uh that recently took place. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>